was uh, imported into the country in July 81 by Bruce Allison. He ran it for that first uh, sort of short season. They ran for the uh, Formula Atlantic or Formula Pacific as we call them here. And then I bought it from him uh, at late that year. So I raced it in uh, 82. You know, we were really lucky back in those days because us local mere mortals got to race against the great F1 drivers when Bob Jane would bring them out for the Australian Grand Prix prior to it being a world championship event. So 82, I didn't run 83, 82 and 84, you know, raced against Keki Rosberg, Nicky Lauda, you know, Alain Prost, just to drop a few names. But then uh, Adelaide Grand Prix started uh, in 85 and uh, we were fortunate enough to have the, the main support event back then, so raced that first Adelaide Grand Prix in this car. And then uh, the last event really for these cars was the 86 Adelaide Grand Prix support event. So I raced that uh, in 86, so that was the last time it turned a wheel. It then went into storage with a dear friend and the guy that used to prepare the car, a guy by the name of John Porter. He lived down in Port Wollonga, South Australia, Little did I realise, very close to the sea, a lot of salt air. The car sat there until John very sadly passed away in 2005 and I had to go over there and pick it up and quite frankly it was a mess. It was just a corroded mess. So it sat in my warehouse for the next 10 years and about uh, four or five years ago we set about starting the restoration. But still 100% original. It's still on its original logbook and it's a 100% original 1981 RT4, which I would think would be unique in both instances. Most of them were modified as time went on and most of them have done a lot of racing here, there and everywhere. Um, but it's been my possession all that time and um, yeah, we're pretty proud of it to be honest with you.